we are in the UP of Michigan trout fishing. So far we've been enjoying the sight, sounds, and fresh air. The river is absolutely beaming with life. We caught a few crayfish for dinner and hooked into a couple large trout. Nice. When I explain how to trout fish to people, I often start by saying it's a lot like hunting when it comes to the strategy. Each cast you should assess the river and aim for the deepest area or for cover like logs and rocks that fish can hide under. You need to place the lure as close as possible in order for the hidden fish to see the bait. Oh, big fish. He is about nine inches long. I love this measuring tape in here to tell you exactly how big the fish is because then you can check it inside the net without damaging the fish. I'm playing with fire. People say you're closest to God in church, but I've always felt like I was closest to God out here. You're not on your cell phone, you're living in the moment, you're experiencing the fish, you're seeing snapping turtles, you're stumbling upon deer, you're seeing how the wildlife live when no one else is out here. It's just peaceful perfection, quietness. I just love it. Oh, come on, take it. I just had a pass right here. I thought there might have been a beaver pond over here, but there wasn't. It looks a lot like Jurassic Park over here. <laughs> like the big ferns. I'm hanging out, I hear something. Oh my God, there's a dinosaur call. <laughs> <laughs> Fish. Feels decent. Looks like a highlighter in the water. Normally, if a fish is like right on the edge of keeper, like where he's like barely seven, but he's not too impressive, and he's hooked real bad, that'll be like the deciding factor to keep him because I don't want him to die. But this guy was pretty lively and still good, so I'll let him go because he was right on about that seven mark. I'm not trying to keep every single fish I can. I'm just trying to keep enough for food. But a lot of times, like I said, if it's a bad hook job where it's in there real good, those are the ones I'll keep. On this episode of the Greenway Outdoors, we were catching brook trout and exploring a few of the great tourist attractions in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Growing up, I often heard people refer to the UP as God's country. It's peaceful, beautiful, but rugged up here. Brook trout fishing small Michigan rivers was one of the first outdoor activities I learned on my own without my dad's careful guidance. It was just something that never made his radar until I introduced it to him later on in life. I learned so much on those rivers. How fish think, what they eat, what plants to stay out of, and even how to use a compass when it really counts. Looking back at those days now, I realize I never felt alone. The forest and streams were my classroom, and with no one else there, God was my teacher. <laughs>